Hey everyone, I've been working on a ditch job recently and this is actually my second time back out to this job. The first time that I dug this ditch and put the rock in it, it ended up overflowing. So I wanted to take some videos to show you guys the process of me installing this ditch. But here's the ditch. I have dug it here, starting off at this culvert. Um, the culvert's going to divert the water from the neighbor's properties as well as catch a lot of runoff. It's hard to see the slope on camera, but going that way is significantly uphill. So everything you see, all of this property in front of us, all of these houses, everything here washes this way towards us, right down here towards this ditch. Into the culvert, into the ditch, we're catching everything running this way as well into our ditch. And it turned out to be a lot more volume of water than I realized it would be. And over the last couple of storms, I've watched the ditch and it has overflowed so that was not super exciting so my remediation my thought on fixing it and i appreciate one of my buddies helping me figure this out is that we're going to build up a small berm on the side of the ditch so if you're in the ditch and you're looking at the low side the water is sometimes flowing all the way across the ditch and still washing out that way So here's some footage that the homeowner sent me after a pretty good storm that we had a few weeks back. This is before I went back to start repairing the ditch and build the berm up a little bit taller. So I wanted you guys to be able to see what it looks like and how much water actually flowed through this ditch after a good storm. We're going to build up a berm on the right hand side of this ditch with some soil. We're going to go back and we're going to expose the geotextile fabric that I've already installed right there. We'll zoom out here. We're going to pull back the first few layers of rock, expose that fabric so I have room to overlap another line of fabric. We'll run a line of fabric all the way down the edge and basically just take the rock up just a little bit higher on the low side. To do so, got my trusty Wacker Newson skid steer, got a big old bucket, bunch of rock there ready to go, and I'm just waiting on some dirt. The dump truck driver is supposed to bring two loads of topsoil tomorrow. And as soon as that gets here, I'll be able to use that dirt to build up a berm right down this lot of, of the ditch. You can see I've already roughly started, but it needs to come up just a little bit higher. And when I bring that up, it's going to be kind of a, a mound, won't be super convenient to mow. So I'm going to try to get some more dirt and feather it out nice and slowly so that you can mow it without a lot. And now this ditch is going to keep running all the way down the hill. Runs all the way down the yard, catches all of this water that's above us. In a good rain, the ditch actually fills up a lot more than you might think, so much so that it runs out the ditch. Whenever I do a big project, especially when I do a lot of dirt work or stuff like that, uh, we end up making a huge mess, as you guys can tell. Look at the yard over here. So I like to clean up the yard sometimes before I get started because after we get started, it's a lot more difficult to mow and weed eat. So sometimes I'll go ahead and mow and weed eat the yard that we are working on. I just realized I haven't showed you guys the rest of the ditch and what, what we're doing here in the first place. So this is the ditch. It's gonna carry all of the storm water off. And uh, at the back of this property, there's a current creek and runoff ditch. So we're running our ditch, our catch uh, storm water ditch to connect back there to the creek but you'll see i've gone through and i went through with an excavator to start it off and i dug a trench more or less all the way down the sideline of the property 
And after that, I came back in with a skid steer and I smoothed it out and I made it a little bit more of a, a U slash V shape. And um, then we're gonna come in behind that after we get the ditch looking like we want it to. We're gonna come in behind that. We're gonna lay this fabric down across the whole ditch. And this is what's gonna be the prevention of erosion. So if we just had no fabric, you just got all this loose soil. And as you guys know, the water would run off. It's just gonna carry all of this soil right down the creek because water is the universal solvent and it will absolutely mix uh, chemically with the soil as well as physically and mechanically erode the soil. Um, shout out to my sixth grade science class from last year. So we're gonna keep running this all the way down, put the fabric down, put more rocks down, and carry it all the way to the back of the property. All the way to here. And there's the, uh, the natural creek that was here before we got started. So I had forgotten that I took this video of the ditch right after we dug it with the excavator and cleared out some of the trees. So I wanted to post this here, let you guys see it before we put the uh, fabric and the rocks in the ditch. And then I go through and I just drop some loads of riprap. That's what you call this six to 12 inch size uh, limestone rock. That's what we call it around here at least. It's probably got other nicknames. And I go ahead and drop a few buckets of it in there, just drop it around. And the most fun part is when we get to go back through uh, and hand spread all of these rocks and get them placed exactly where we like them. So that is super time consuming and very tedious but I have some help with me today. Andrew's out there, he's over there weed eating right now. But uh, I've got some help. We're gonna try to spread a lot of these rocks. Got the truck over here. We're gonna pick up a lot of sticks. There's some sticks I had to clear. There was a lot of trees in here where the, the ditch ran. So I cleared out some trees. And we're gonna clean up the sticks right now before we start back on the dirt work. So we'll catch you guys up in just a minute. You ready for a big day, Andrew? No.
course we had to go ahead and service up the skid steer before we got started had to put a lot of grease in all of the joints make sure everything's lubricated that one got a little messy got a little grease built up but you don't want uh, metal on metal rubbing on each other you guys know that causes a lot of friction and a lot of uh, wear and tear so the grease goes in to prevent um, basically uh, the rubbing of the metal on metal to keep the pins as healthy as possible. So we've got the whole skid steer greased up. I'm gonna go in, scoop a whole lot of rocks, put them in the ditch, and keep going to work. Meanwhile, these guys have been a little scary right next to the ditch. There's a huge hornet's nest sitting in this tree. I believe these are European hornets. I did a little Googling to see what they are. They're supposed to not be too aggressive, which is good because we're working like four feet away. But there sure has been a lot of them rolling. That, that tree is just full of them. Look at this guy. Doesn't he look scary? Put him down. Until it's a European hornet by these raindrops it's got on its back. Right there. See those raindrops? It's a European hornet. Man, there's so many of them. Yeah. Good, run. Hey, come back. I was gonna say hi. You can make a cameo appearance in my video. Oh, he gone. He's under that big rock. He gone. I'm not gonna bother him. All right. Anyways, here's what we got going on so far. Big old ditch catching all of the storm water that's coming off all of these hills and yards up here above us. All the way down the creek. So we're almost done. We've almost got all the rock spread. And then we'll get the uh, dirt spread, put out some grass seed, throw out some straw. That'll be it for this one.
And that's a wrap for this job. I didn't catch the last day of work on this one because we were really trying to wrap it up, but we ended up spreading 125 pounds of grass seed on this job and 25 bales of straw and three rolls of straw mat. My students tell me that all the cool kids are supposed to ask you all to subscribe to my channel and like this video and comment. Let me know what other stuff you guys would like to see if I was to post more videos. All right, until next time.